guys, I want to thank Jess over at Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy for inviting me to do this cookout collab. It is the summer cookout collab. If you guys are interested in seeing some of the cookout collab recipes, be sure to check out all of the girls listed below. They have a lot of great cookout ideas, so check them all out. It is down below. Let's get started on my recipes. Hey guys. I am making here a chicken shish kebab. I've got one breast of chicken, which I'm gonna cube up into about one inch cubes. I've got some olive oil, teriyaki, soy sauce, garlic, min that's minced garlic, Worcestershire sire, one lime, a cup here to put the marinade in and the chicken. I've got peppers, mushrooms, and an onion for the shish kebab themselves that will be on with the chicken. And let me show you what's in the marinade real quick. All right, guys, everything is two tablespoons except for the olive oil that is just one tablespoon. Most of it will stay in the bag, so I count one teaspoon per serving is what we count. And I don't even know if it's that much, to be honest with you. So we're gonna use one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of garlic, two tablespoons of the teriyaki, two tablespoons of the low sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons of the Worcestershire Sire sauce. And then we're going to slice this lime up and then put all the lime juice in there. And you want them about one inch by one inch or as best you can get it. There's another slice. So that is the marinade. So I'm going to set this in my fridge until I cut up all of my veggies and I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, we're going to cut up a yellow and an orange pepper. And those are also going into about one inch cubes. This I'll cut up for, well actually that's big enough. Leave that one like that. So this is all the pepper that I'm throwing away. I use everything else. I'm gonna give this a quick wash. about how much we want them one inch by one inch or even a little bit larger so that's what I have there on my plate and then the rest of these I just cut up into small pieces and put in my onion container and we will use these for something else next is the mushrooms I'm gonna wash these off just a little bit 
All right, we got the mushrooms here now. I'm just going to cut off some of the stem. And then I'm just going to cut them in half. So we want those about that size. And there is the ingredients. What we use is the Good Cooks. These are the skewers. And I believe we got these at the kitchen store. And what I did was I just wet them down with water before I put my stuff on. Usually we have two a piece, but a lot of times we have one extra for some extra stuff that's odds and ends. So I just got five of them. And we are going to start skewering these up. All right, guys, what I'm doing here is I'm putting these on the skewers now. So I put on a piece of chicken, an onion, a mushroom, a pepper, yes. And then another piece of chicken, an onion, another pepper, another mushroom, and another piece of chicken. And that's usually as far as I go. I have three pieces of chicken and then the mixture of the vegetables in there. there's our skewers we got ended up with five of them and then I'm gonna take this juice with me to the George Foreman grill I'm gonna move you over there right now Ooh, we're gonna just set these on here like this now usually just do three and two and I pour a little bit of sauce over the top just so they all get some garlic. And then close it up. And I'm going to set the timer for three minutes and we'll come back and check them in three minutes. Okay, three minutes has passed and I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to marinate them just a little bit more. Make sure you get the mushrooms good because the mushrooms really taste delicious with this on them. And I'm going to close this back up and I'm going to set it for two minutes. Okay, it's been two more minutes. And what I do is just kind of poke the chicken open a little bit, one of the bigger pieces. And it does look done. So we're going to take these off. And I put them in a little bit of tin foil. Oh, there goes our mushroom. To help keep them warm while I cook the others. I'm going to put the last two on the grill. Same thing. I'm going to marinate them a little bit. Close them up for three minutes. All right, it has been three minutes, and we're gonna flip them. And two minutes. Two minutes is just about up, but you can also make these on the grill. Instead of your George Foreman grill, you can make them on your regular grill outside. They're very good either way. All right, two minutes is up. I'm gonna open up our packet here. Oh, that one stuck to the top there. And we're gonna put these down in with this one. I turned off my grill. And there are the kebabs. Delicious. That marinade really packs on the flavor in them. They are so good and the chicken is always so tender. 
Hope you guys enjoy. I count two smart or one smart point per three of these because like I said, you only use one, you only get one teaspoon of oil per serving. Not even really. My next dessert is a lemon dessert and I'm using the ready crust for these. These are four smart points a piece. You can just put it in a bowl and then your total will be right about two smart points, but I'm, I'm gonna throw it in the recipe builder just to be sure because it might be less than that. And then I use two small boxes of lemon flavored sugar-free jello or one large box and two cups of ice, one and a half cups of boiling water. Let me show you how I make this. Right, guys, I have my water boiling here. I'm going to put both of my jellos in this bowl. So there's two small boxes or use one large box. All right, this is boiling. We're gonna put one and a half cups in. There's one and a half. And we're going to stir this up until it's fully dissolved. All right, that looks like it is fully dissolved, I think. So we're going to add two cups of ice and two. Stir this up. And we're gonna put this in the fridge for about five minutes, just so it starts firming up a little bit, but not super firm. Now we're gonna open the graham crackers crust and get these ready to go. I got my scale out here because I'm just going to put the Jello bowl onto here and weigh my Cool Whip, because after doing the math, figured out that this should be 81 grams worth of, it's about a cup and a half, so 81 grams of the Cool Whip goes into the jello. Hey right, guys, we've got this down here. So as you can see, that is pretty firm. It's getting there anyway. That's just about perfect though. At zero grams, and we're gonna go to 81 grams. Close enough, we'll do 85. And then we're going to whisk this in. This is so delicious, you guys. Wait till you try it. And this is gonna really firm up after you put it back in the fridge for a couple hours. Of course, you wanna fill them all the way up. And then when these are all chilled, we're going to put them in a little container with a cap on it because you don't want them getting like the fridge smell and stuff to them. Or you can cover them with a plastic wrap. And what I do is, if you're gonna cover them with a plastic wrap, just spray a tiny touch of this on the plastic wrap and then cover it up because otherwise it sticks to the plastic wrap and it's a big mess. So this helps that. And these, I'm just gonna slap some tin foil on and call it good. After these firm up and you serve these, you just put a dollop, just a dollop of your whipped cream on here before you serve it. And we're gonna have these tomorrow for lunch. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's a little close up of what it looks like. It's pretty jiggly yet, but it'll firm up nice and firm. You'll get about 10 of these if you use all of these, so yeah nice serving sizes and these are going to be a lot less points because they don't have the four point graham cracker crust so we got two of those as well that's it guys hope you enjoyed i hope you guys enjoyed the recipes the lemon pies were fantastic i tasted a little bit of them they were so good they were really good i 
I used to make them way back when, but I just totally forgot all about them. And then when I was scrolling through some recipes to try, I found, ran into that one. So I thought I'd give it a try again. And yeah, it was just as good this time. Try these out and let me know below how you like them. If you did try them out, check out all the other girls down below because they have some fabulous recipes as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to share it if you think this may help anybody. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.